All right, so I have to talk about something kind of serious here, and those who know me know how much I don't like serious. It's the drag. Um, but what I have to say may just save some lives and may just help some doctors save some more lives. So a number of years ago, there was a medication that came out, these Oxys, that were highly, highly addictive. The company knew they were. They just wanted to sell the living hell out of them, so they didn't ma they didn't mind the fact that people were losing their livelihoods, losing their families, losing their lives. That was never a consideration because the money was just so darn good. And I saw it happening, but I didn't really understand what was going on. Um, no one really did. Patients didn't. Some of the doctors didn't. Some of the doctors did because they knew they were prescribing a lot of it and getting paid very, very well for that. And I had patients lose their jobs because they wanted more oxys and they couldn't function because they needed more oxys and they lost their families because they wanted to spend all their money on oxys and then they lost their lives because they overdosed on oxys. I had patients that that happened to and a lot of people didn't even realize what was going on until it was too late. That is why I'm so intent on helping patients get out of pain now because I'll admit when I have a migraine and I take an Advil I feel phenomenal afterwards I feel like nothing can touch me can you imagine if my pain was worse and something like a narcotic medication like Oxy's helped me can you imagine how good that must feel to someone who is in that situation and the pain is taken away. Of course you're going to want more. And companies preyed on that. Made a lot of money from that. I never want to see that happen again. And if something like that ever does happen again, I mean it still does happen every day. But if something to that magnitude starts to happen again, I want to be a force against it. And I want the doctors that work with my devices to be a force against it. Because we can be. If we can have access to modalities to treatment techniques to therapeutic protocols that reduce people's dependency on these medications so they don't have to become addicted to them so they don't have to need them to live their lives then that would be a beautiful beautiful thing wouldn't it and the spine specialist robotic laser decompression system that treats back neck hip problems and knee problems like nothing else on the market actually does that it's very, very successful with a lot of these cases. Now, of course, it's a process. It involves a treatment plan. And I say a plan. It's not just one and done. In some cases, patients get a lot of benefit out of one or two treatments, feel a lot better, but it's not designed as a one and done thing. It needs to have a semi-continual treatment plan. So people have to commit to be able to do that. It takes work. I'm not going to say it doesn't, but to rely on medication takes work too, and it takes away from a lot of the rest of your life. So if you're wanting to find a new solution as a patient, if you're out of hope and you don't think that anything can help you anymore, um, we may have something that can help you. And the second thing is, is if you're a doctor that is looking for new solutions for your patients, you want to make difference in people's lives that right now you're up against a brick wall with. Like if you have patients that are not getting better with the things you have, you need to employ something different. And that's why I do what I do. The other situation that was brought up to me a number of years ago also was um, uh, people have been injured at work, people have been injured on the battlefield, so injured veterans. Somebody had said to me, you know, these vets come back and they're injured. They have back issues, they have neck issues, they have gunshot wounds, they have all these things that create chronic pain. And they would often rather eat a bullet than deal with chronic pain. They're used to dealing all these stressful situations and they have no problem with that, but chronic pain sends them over the edge. That's how serious and threatening chronic pain is. So if you really want to know why I do what I do and why I'm so committed 
to providing a different solution for patients, a different technological solution for doctors that they can use to help these people that have lost hope, that's it right there. Because the quantum of possibility to what we're doing, if I can help one doctor help thousands of patients from a device that I produce because it does things differently than everything else does, and treats things differently than everything else does. It might be that magical solution for somebody who never had any results anywhere else. Then that's a worthwhile pursuit, don't you think? So again, if you're a patient experiencing something that you want to stop experiencing, you want to get better, contact one of our doctors. If you're a doctor who wants to provide something different for your patients, then you and I got to have a conversation. Thanks so much for watching. And sorry it was a little more serious, but... We really can save lives with this. And if I can be part of saving lives, well, that's kind of why we all get into this thing, isn't it? Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to helping you.